Morning folks, how we doing? Hope you're well. Um, <clears throat> so it's now uh, Tuesday, we're into the week, well and truly into the week. Um, and this morning is day four, okay, of your 24 small wins for 2019. And this morning, we're gonna be talking about owning your morning and what a useful skill it is, why you should be doing it, why you should be owning your morning. Um, and how you can take it into 2019 and make it uh, a part of your routine and part of your development on your journey. All right, so I knew your morning routine. One of the things I talk about in my book, if you've ever read the book, is the golden hour. Now the golden hour was something I put together for myself um, when I was trying to dominate my mornings. Uh, morning, Greg. Now. To make sure that we have a great day, to make sure that we can handle people, handle environments, handle situations that are going to happen during the day, I tend to feel that we need to prepare ourselves more than anything. We need to prepare our brain, we need to prepare the way that we're thinking, we need to prepare our positiveness for the day. We need to kind of almost warm up. So you know when you do a, go to the gym or you do uh, a home workout, you do a good warm up and you do a warm up because you want your body to be ready for the activity that's gonna be ahead of them, ahead of it, sorry. Um, so you, that's mentally and physically. And nothing is different when it comes to, morning Craig, and nothing is different when it comes to um, your, your day, the way your working day. You wanna warm up for this, right? If you leave the house, uh, if you wake up and you have to leave the house in 10 minutes, that's going to leave you flustered, stressed, frustrated, all over the place. And that is how your day is going to go. And there's no two ways about it. I used to do it all of the time. Oh, that's poor network connection. Hopefully you can still see me. Um, I used to do it all of the time. Oh, we're back. Um, we used to do it all of the time. I'd wake up last minute. I'd arrive at my class last minute, be a bit stressed and flustered. I wouldn't be awake. I wouldn't have prepared myself. So I decided to introduce the golden hour. Now within that golden hour, we do a lot of different activities that allow you to dominate your day. So you dominate your morning and then it will lead to you dominating your day and having a successful day. And it's all part of the bigger picture, right? It's one small win. It's one small step in the right direction. Okay. Now, in that golden hour, um, when I first did this, I was getting up at seven, so seven used to be a lion for me. And I gradually slipped my morning left. So it was half six, and I thought, I'm going caught by six. And then I went five, and I went quarter to two five, and I'm currently on 4.20 at the minute. Who knows, I might never go to bed if we keep moving left. Um, so, um, I get up now at 4.20, I wake up, I make my first round of breakfast, um, sit there and watch Sky Sports just to allow my brain just to wake up for five minutes while I'm having um, my breakfast, I warm up the computer, um, ready to open all the apps that I need, I then come up here, walk the dogs, talk to you lot. Um, sorry, just before that I do some uh, 20 minutes worth of mobility, so loosening up, stretching, movement. Um, come up here, talk to you lot, go back as soon as I finished, download the podcast, um, download it onto YouTube, my website, um, and put it all onto an email, schedule an email ready to go out. If you're on my newsletter, you'll get that. Then that goes out. Then I've either got uh, some form of clients between sort of six and seven, then the school run. And you can kind of see how that structure builds up from the morning. But in the morning, what I'm doing is kind of waking my brain up. I'm doing some movement, get the endorphins going, um, getting the muscles moving, I'm engaging with you guys, which kind of just gets my brain thinking, this is almost my personal development, um, talking to you guys. So you could, you could wake up, you could do some headspace, you could read a chapter of a book, you could listen to a podcast, something that's gonna have a positive effect on your brain to think about things for later on in the day. If you start thinking positive from a very early stage in the day, then you're gonna have that positive mindset continue for, throughout the day. If we don't find that positive 
like uh, crack that we're trying to find, then what tends to happen is we leave the door pretty flustered, negative, frustrated, and that tends to reflect in our actions during the day. It's a great opportunity for you to get your workout in in the morning. A lot of the guys in the Brotherhood do their workout in the morning. You know, the workouts are anywhere between, between 20 and 30 minutes. So once you've got that, um, that workout in, that stress of having to try to find time to work out later on has gone. So you don't need to worry about it. It's done. You leave the door and you go, oh my God, I've worked out. I can go home tonight and actually just be present in the, at the house. I don't need to stress during the day to think when I'm gonna get my workout in. It alleviates some of that stress. You then can uh, check your diary because you would have planned the day the night before. Um, remember day one, planning. So you would have planned your day the day before. So you review your plan over breakfast. So you get to fuel up. Um, Sharon and change, bang, ready to walk out that door like a ball of fire, ready to take on the day. And that's the benefits of owning your morning. That's the, that is the benefits of being able to dominate your morning, which would lead to you dominating your day, making positive decisions, making sure that you've got your workout done, making sure that you're reaching your goals. All of those good things, all of those good things come from you dominating your morning. And it is very difficult. It is difficult to start with, you know. Um, I used to go to bed very late and get up sort of late morning. And I've moved all of my day left. And, you know, I went to bed last night at nine. I was just fucking asleep before my head even hit the pillow. Um, and, and, and it's just a way of life. It's something that you introduce to your routine. You are, you are providing an opportunity to have some time to yourself, which we very rarely do as dads, because it's either kids screaming in your ear, the wife screaming in your ear, the boss screaming in the ear, customers screaming in your ear, and it all can get a little bit too much, and this is just that time for you, away from everything, to be able to focus on yourself, to develop yourself. So I hope that um, is beneficial for you, take that into 2019. Start thinking about maybe making some changes, getting up a little bit earlier, do it in little chunks, first couple of weeks, get up like 20 minutes earlier, introduce some headspace movement, then maybe another 30, and then up to 30 minutes, then 40 minutes, and progressively all the way up to the hour. All right, so I hope that helps. If you listen on podcast, please do go down and review. All you have to do is scroll all the way down on that feed and leave one, or if you're watching on video here, please share. Hopefully somebody on your um, <coughs> timeline will be able to benefit from this. So I will see you for day five tomorrow. Um, and um, <coughs> hopefully it will drop some more knowledge bombs for you guys. Hope, hope you have a cracking day. I'll catch you soon.